It is time for the Smash Our Stash collaboration, and this month I focused on some vinyl projects. Hey guys, it's Beth. Welcome. It is time for Smash Our Stash. This is the collaboration I host that kind of helps us focus on some of those hoarded or forgotten items in our stash to pull them out, use them, and enjoy them. The participant list will be listed in the description box below, so please be sure to go check out the participants. What they used, this was a free choice month, so you can see what they used and what they made. I chose vinyl. I have done vinyl before and I was focusing on like little bitty pieces of vinyl or thin strips of vinyl and made some embellishments for myself. This time I was trying to focus on patterns, patterned vinyl and maybe some of the bigger scraps. And so I have a variety of projects. I took some of a couple bigger scraps of just plain, it you know, solid vinyl and decided I could make some titles with them, general titles that I could use in my scrapbook pages. And so I have one that says Hello Fall, two that are really hard to see because they're white on white, but they say Merry and Bright. That those were just some good generic holiday titles that I could use on pages. And one nice thing is like I could back these titles on, you know, patterned paper or something else. And then at least I don't have to glue them down all individually. I can just use transfer tape, put them down and I'm done. So I have a ton more of these scraps to use. I was just running out of time, but I thought I would make some more titles and some of the bigger sheets I might even be able to make some alphabets out of. And then since I'm making my own alphabet, I can actually leave out the X's and the Z's and just the weird letters, the Q's that are very rarely used and add in more E's and A's and S's and T's, like the thing, the letters that are very common. One of the things I tried to do with some pattern vinyl was magnetic bookmarks. And I, they would be really cute. They're meant to just hook over the top of a page and then the magnetic strips, you know, would hold the bookmark together and keep it on your page. However, I bought the wrong type of adhesive magnetic sheets. These do not magnetize to each other. They will hold like they do. Oh, not a very strong one, obviously, but they will hold metal on them, but they do not connect to each other. So they are like the same. What is it? I don't know the whole magnetic term, but Usually they need to be like the opposite, the polar opposites or something so that they will connect to each other. So that was a fail, but this was, this would be great if you have like vinyl strips or even pattern paper strips. It was just like, this, this is one and a half inches by probably four or five inches. And then I just, it's adhesive backed magnet sheets. And so I just trim them down and added them on the inside of the vinyl and then just cut them a fishtail in all of it together. Be great to use for paper or ribbon or vinyl. However, make sure you get magnetic sheets that actually magnetize to each other. Do as I say, not as I do. The next thing, and these were really fun. These are clear acrylic circles. They're about three inches. And I thought these would be fun a fun way for me to use up some of the pattern vinyl I have and something else that Ellie can offer in her little jewelry display that she has at our craft shows. So she sells jewelry and she sells it. It's like catered more towards the younger kids, not so much, you know, the teen, some teenagers, but a lot of it is just like brighter colors and meant more for like younger girls. So I thought these would make great backpack tags. Uh, I remember when my girls were in public school, they had a gazillion of them all over their backpack. So what I did is I sized some vinyl images down to fit my three inch circle, cut them out and put them on. And then like in this case, I put the vinyl on and then punched the hole in the tag because I wanted to make sure it was going to be like within, I didn't want it to look weird, just crossing the circle. Um, and then we found some like keychain, like hooks and chain. And then on the rest of them, if I know the image isn't going to like cover the whole disc, then I went ahead and punched the holes in advance. 
But I just thought this is a fun way, like something Ellie and I can do together and that she can sell with her display. I Right now, I am doing the vinyl part of it, and then she's adding the chains here. So we have one that's done, and then we have some others that are work in progress because on this one, it's just the inside of the unicorn, but I wanted it to stand out a little bit more. So I played with adding paint behind it. Don't love it. Um, I need to figure out what else I can do for that. This was another one that was really pretty. It's like a shimmery gold, yellowish, greenish gold. And it just says, girl, you can do great things, but it didn't stand out very well. So I tried to paint the back, kind of messy, still work in progress. This one, I thought I, we could also do some ornaments. So this one is a little Christmassy llama and it says, fa la la llama. And then this one's really pretty. It's like a rose, rose gold glitter vinyl. It says hustle and heart. Again, it needs something on the back to stand out. So I need to figure that out. So work in progress, but I thought that's something that Ellie and I can work together on to sell at the craft shows. And next I focused on some heat transfer vinyl and I made myself a fall shirt. It's just a long sleeve, super soft t-shirt and went with hello pumpkin. So I have like a a plaid pattern here and it's actually got a little bit of glitter in it and then just went for solid orange for the outline and the words and then I wanted brown for a stem and the only brown I had was this glitter brown and I had a piece of it that was like a scrap that was perfect size so I didn't really want the brown glitter but I'm gonna go with it because that's that was the scrap I had so I have a fun fall shirt and then I took the scraps that I had left from this fall plaid and decided to make a mug. So this says, oh my gourd. And it's just a mug I picked up from Goodwill for like 99 cents. And then I added the gourd. And this isn't the greatest vinyl to go on a mug because it's a really thick vinyl. Worked great on the shirt. I loved how easy it was to go on the shirt, but it was a pain to get it on the mug. But I don't know because it's not on there really well. I don't know that I can use it to drink coffee out of. It may just have to be a storage or display kind of piece, but it's fun. So that's what I have for you today. I have a lot more that I want to do. Just ran out of time, so decided to share what I had so far. Again, please be sure to check out the de description box for the other participants. Since it's a free choice, we'll probably have a wonderful variety of projects for you to get inspiration from. Thank you so much for your time today and hope you all have a very crafty day.